at stoneyard.com. Today, I want to talk about these stone panels. So, these panels are about 8 inches by 24 inches. Um, they're offered in two colors Cambridge blend. So, this looks a lot like the Boston blend. Greenfield gray. This looks a lot like um, Greenwich gray. Okay, there's three components. There's the full flats, and then there's a half a flat. And if you compare the half a flat, if you took a full flat and cut it right in half, you'd have two halves, half panels. So these half panels, probably the best way to describe it is it's a starter course. So say you're doing a 100 foot foundation, what you're going to do is, say you start with a full panel, that's fine. Then you're going to go to a half panel. And then after that, over here to the left, you're going to start with a full panel again. And over here to the right of this full panel, you're going to go with a half panel. But once you have the base core set up, it's just all full panels. So this is going to go in here and... I'm gonna use this different color just so you can see. This is gonna go in here, and so on and so forth, okay? So, get your base course that looks something like this, half panel, full panel, half panel, full panel, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And it's pretty easy to figure, because you've got four feet that you're covering, so in a four foot distance, you need one half panel, one full panel. And then usually as you build it up to the top height, you don't usually use these full panels. You just take and you cut this to the appropriate height. So right now they're every eight inches and say your top panel is only, you know, needs six inches. You're just gonna cut this on your tile saw down to six inches. But obviously if you're doing a foundation, you're gonna need corners. So this material is available in corners. There's a long edge, which is about 12 inches, a short edge, which is around seven inches. Um, what, so, so and, and you can see, like if I go to this side, this half panel, I mean this corner panel, merges in with the half panel perfectly, okay? And then you've got your full panels right on top. And one of the things I just wanna point out, if you're using it in that orientation, then you always keep stacking them right on top of each other. Okay, you don't weave it. That is not how this works. This has to go together like this. One other thing about a corner piece is they're often done with columns. So pretend you had a column that, you know, you know, say you've got to frame it out and you want it to the outside measurements this could be 15 by around 26. Another configuration is you could square this off. <clears throat> okay, so that's the best use of space. You see this little gap down here? You're gonna take a full panel and you're gonna cut piece to fill that in. So you, you just, you know, you're just going to take and you're going to cut a chunk out of here and that will fill those areas in. But remember, you could make this even smaller. You could cut this end off and cut this end off and so it would merge together that tightly. So if it were to be, say, that distance, then your column could be as much as small as 14 and a half by 14 and a half. Okay? So just some different options. Um, you know, don't feel like you have to understand this all just from this video. You know, give us kind of the map of the foundation or if it's a chimney or a fireplace, we can help you with the layout. But these panel systems versus, say, the individual stones, you know, 
the pianos go a lot faster than the individual stones. So, you know, like this back wall that we did, we spent nine days and then the 10th day we cleaned it and we only spent a couple hours cleaning it. But um, if that was panos, I probably could have done that all in one day. So panos, um, you spend in a couple extra bucks a square foot for it, but they're all pre-assembled and ready to go. Um, are they absolutely perfect? Like you can see a little cement here and here. Whereas on the individual stones, if you take the time, you can eliminate that. But remember, individual stones are much slower, but you can have really super high quality. The panels, what I like this for is for exteriors. Um, whether it's a commercial or residential, it's a quick, easy way. The way this is broken up, you really don't see the repeating pattern that is in there. It's really broken up nicely. Okay, so this is David at stonyard.com. Check us out on the website, and I hope you buy your next veneer from us.